Now let's get this into the market. Stock markets can make you smile and make you cry sometimes. Yesterday, investors smiled as they saw a big jump, as it were, in equities. Unlisted securities also caught the bog. The NEAZ over the counter went up more than 1%. Let's to take all of this to the market state where Temple Ashaji, our business correspondent, is live to us from our studios at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Temple, good morning. Welcome to this big business and market day with the big numbers from Access Bank, which everyone pouring over right as we speak. Good morning, Bolton. Yes, Temple, go ahead. Right, well, well yesterday we regained some 94.02 billion naira, and that represents some kind of 0.85% uh, in the all share index and, of course, the equity capitalization of the market. From the look of things now, we're coasting back to the 30,000 points which is where we were for a long time since 2nd of April uh, this month. Uh, we have seen the market falling to 29,000 uh, psychological line. But from the look of things now, it looks like this buy sentiment that we are seeing in the market, which is evident across the board, uh, evident, evident as well in the activity level of the market as we saw yesterday and, of course, in the, uh, uh, the, the last week, the greater part of last week, as well as even Monday, it uh, looks like we will get back to 30,000 uh, with the kind of expectations that analysts, the traders, investing community basically has in this market uh, for today. So what we saw yesterday was able to help moderate uh, the losses that we have in terms of months to date losses and of course the year to date losses. Year to date now we are around 5.36%. And of course if you take a look at the activity level was up yesterday by some 44% uh, percent in terms of volume of transactions and of course the value yesterday uh, caught beyond the uh, 30 day average. And we saw it as of some 4.65 billion naira, and that represents over 160 uh, percent performance in terms of the activity level. Now, uh, we saw uh, a quick uh, in early trade uh, some huge um, exchange on Union Bank, which uh, price, of course, went down by some 0.73 percent uh, eventually. At a point in time, it was even as high as 0.79 uh, percent. So, 134 million units of the shares of this particular company uh, yesterday valued at about uh, 912 uh, million naira was what contributed massively to uh, the trade volume, the traded volume of transactions that we saw yesterday in the market. So we saw 21 gainers, we saw 10 losers yesterday in the market. Champs PLC continues to maintain its uh, position of a top gainer in the market, so up yesterday by some 10%. But if we take it further to the sectoral front, uh, of course, we saw uh, a buy interest in the banking side of the market. Selling bank continued to experience some good gains, up some 5.3% yesterday. UBA, FCMB, FBN Holdings, all of these companies actually contributed massively to what we saw in the market yesterday. And for the consumer goods segment of the market, Dangote Flower was up the most uh, in, the, in that segment of the market by some 9.78%, contributed seriously to the gains that we saw in the consumer goods segment of the market. All of the Dangote uh, 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 companies, except for Dangode Cement experienced some gains. They can make you smile as well, just as Bolton said earlier. So Dangode Flour was up, Dangode Sugar was up, and of course Nestle contributed well to what you saw in the market too. The industrial goods segment of the market also experienced a bit of a marginal uh, appreciation. Increase in beggar paints actually contributed to what we saw there. It rose some 2.21% and was able to help moderate the losses in that sector. For the insurance side of the market, we saw WAPIC insurance, custodian insurance, as well as linkage insurance, all pushing up the indices of this particular sector, uh, which settled at 65 business points yesterday. But the oil and gas segment of the market was the only segment of the, of the, on the on, was the only sector that actually uh, closed the loss. And of course, that, uh, that was as a result of the uh, sell down that we saw on O and O, which is down by 1.03% uh, yesterday. And of course, moving on into the energy sector now, we see that uh, it was only O and O and Etana PLC that did some uh, 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 gains, sideways gains in terms of performance yesterday in the market, while Oando fell by 1.03% to 4 naira 80 kobo after some uh, 766,000 plus of its units were sold. We saw Etana PLC uh, rising by some 4.88% and closing at 4 naira 30 kobo. Over 340,000 units of that company's shares were traded yes in the market. For the NASD OTC, uh, we've got 122 business point movement, which is positive for this particular company, uh, particular platform.
platform rather. It's an exchange just, as, just like the Nigerian Stock Exchange actually. The market capitalization closed at 526.72 billion naira. The volume was 10.07 million and of course valued at 18.88 million naira. So we saw trading on just three out of the 38 key trade, uh, uh, companies or securities tradable on that platform. And we realized that food concept has continued to experience some good gains in the market, which also signifies the fact that we're seeing some huge inflows on this platform and of course on the larger scale now into the Nigerian financial market. We will certainly be able to get full details of what is transpiring on food concept because yet to date uh, that company now has realized over 1 billion uh, uh, sales on rather or transactions of over 1 billion uh, units uh, that it has tradable on that particular platform of the market. For the fixed income market, yesterday the bond side of the market closed a, bit, a little bit mixed. We saw average yields also reducing by one business point to 14.07 percent. This got demand and of course at the short end of the curve declining by some six business points. The long end of the curve also experienced uh, some kind of uh, contraction here because of the demands that we saw. So yields was down on July 2021 by some 20 business points. March 2036, which is the 18th of March precisely, got priced at 86 naira 73 cobo there after some 4 million units of the shares were also traded. We saw that now uh, contracting by some 14 business points. That's what happened at the secondary side of the market. If you see 23rd of February 2028 there, it was due to the sell-off that we saw on that particular side of the market where we saw expansion of, uh, by some 15 business points on that side of the market. For the uh, Treasury bill side of the market, uh, given the fact that there will be uh, an auction, of course, uh, taking place today, some 58.49 billion naira worth of, uh, of transactions to be, or, or OMO auction rather, expected today, uh, we saw uh, bearish sentiment, uh, a little bit of bearish sentiment in the, uh, in, the, in the transactions or outing that we saw yesterday. Average yield widened by some two basis points to 13.41 percent, and of course, there was sell off at the short end of the curve and a bit of contraction at the, uh, the uh, mid-end of the curve, but the long end of the curve was really, really flat yesterday in Boston. Yes, uh, a tempo quite a, a very uh, a good run of how the market uh, uh, finished off yesterday, but again, it's a brand new day. Uh, but if you try to take uh, uh, the market a bit back, you look at Access Bank. Uh, this is one bank whose earnings uh, for yeah. first quarter 2019 is, is grabbing the headlines uh, this morning. Some analysts are already uh, pouring over that. Access Bank is holding an uh, analyst and investors conference call today, 2 p.m. Nigerian time, uh, 9 o'clock in the morning in New York, sure. or 2 o'clock in, in, in London, and, and, th and 3 o'clock in, in Johannesburg. So around the world, investors and analysts will be asking manage the management of Access Bank a number of questions about these uh, earnings. But again, if you look at the, the top numbers, or what you call the highlights, looks like, yes, earnings per share was much better than expected. Uh, a very uh, big numbers there coming from double digit to triple digit. Uh, earnings per share, 100 and nearly 140 cobo, 140 cobo per, uh, per share. Profit jumps, and of course, deposit is now, if not the largest in the Nigerian banking space. Temple. So, well, I think, number one, uh, we, we will recall that, of course, it was in the first quarter that the greater part of the uh, co business combination between this particular bank and Diamond Bank actually took place. We saw some 6.6 .6 billion dollar shares of uh, Diamond Bank being merged uh, with uh, what we had, uh, the, 20 th the 28 billion ordinary shares that we have of Access Bank. And, of course, that brought the, uh, uh, the total of uh, fully paid up uh, capital or shares of, uh, of Access Bank to uh, 35 uh, billion ordinary shares. Now, uh, if, you, if you go down further, you will look at, you will understand, one will literally understand that uh, the interest income of this particular company uh, contributed massively to this jump that we saw this time. I think we saw interest income around the investment securities uh, coming in at about 25 billion naira. And of course, that, if you compare that to what we had in Q1 2018, which is around just 4 billion naira, this is a huge, uh, 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 this is very, very impressive. It's a huge success for this particular company. FX transactions also at this point in time uh, has also been very, very helpful. Don't forget the uh, CBN has also put in place a whole lot of windows where you can actually uh, do a lot of uh, FX transactions. I and E window is there. You have the spot market, you have the forward market. You, you, you have all of the 
these available platforms for this com uh, for, for companies, for, for banks, basically, or the financial services firms to now uh, play very well. And uh, this was a plus for uh, uh, Access Bank in the, in the sense that it actually uh, had an increase of some 6.2 uh, billion naira compared to 6.8 billion naira loss. And they are uh, when you do the quarter and quarter analysis. So this is really a plus for them. However, we understand that there was a 30 percent uh, rise in its loan book, but that seemed not to have really, really reflected in the uh, uh, interest income as analyzed by uh, analysts and, of course, uh, uh, basic knowledge if you apply on the numbers that we've seen so far on this company. So perhaps, as you said, the, the, the conference call of this particular bank uh, will be holding today. And, of course, they will be able to shed more light on some of the things uh, that look esoteric to, uh, to traders, to investors, to analysts here uh, at the end of the day. However, a lot of traders here are really bullish on Access Bank. They are really hoping to put their money on it, on this particular company. They do expect that uh, today the market will react very, very positively to this company. I think the share price is between uh, 5 Naira plus and, of course, 6 Naira. So uh, with what has now come out today, they should be able to uh, react positively to it. We also understand that the regulatory capital of this particular bank is very, very strong. As I said earlier, it is about the uh, largest bank by deposits right now in the market. So it's a plus for Access Bank, and it remains a bank to actually watch in the banking stocks for the market at NSC today, both of them. Okay, yeah, I tempted quite a lot of uh, uh, line items to, to look into very closely here uh, as you talk about it. Investment uh, securities income was, was quite huge for, for Access Bank, about 31%, according to some of the analysts uh, pouring over the numbers, trying to read through the numbers. Uh, interest on loans, just 1.2% quarter on quarter. So the bank still has a lot to do beyond just putting money in treasury bills and trading uh, bonds and, and all of that. But this is all uh, big uh, numbers from a big bank. So when you're analyzing a big bank, you need uh, a lot of uh, 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 scope to, to, to understand what is all in the books. Thank you, Temple. Let's check in with you later uh, on the program. Let's take a break. We have a number of headwinds from outside with the warnings from the, globe, from the World Bank and the IMF about the headwinds, the, the thing the world will go through, a likely recession within the next two to three years. What does all mean for the markets outside and what does it mean for you?